everyone, this is Pat. I'm a Filipina living in the UK and today we're gonna go to the Belgrade Theater because we're gonna watch the touring group of Mousetrap. As you can see, I'm in the town center. We are walking to the Belgrade from here. It's not that far. It's a three minute walk probably from where I am. So this is to mark the 70th anniversary of Mousetrap. I've been meaning to watch it because I'm a big Agatha Christie fan. I've been meaning to watch the one in St. Martin's in the West End. But the problem is, every time I try to book tickets to the West End one, it never goes well. <laughs> so I decided that it would be better to get my tickets in my city. And it's my first time watching a touring company, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> I do want to watch the West End version as well so I can compare it because obviously the one in the West End in London has been going on for 70 years which is a bit crazy. If you feel like this is content that you guys want to see more of or if you want to see more of my adventures here living in the UK make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm gonna take you guys on a quick tour of the town center. This is very quick to be honest. This is it. This is the town center. I'm just joking. We are gonna go to the town center in detail in a different video. I think it would be useful for like tourists to get to know the city from a local. Local? I've been living here for like six months. <laughs> but you get what I mean. I'm getting a hang of the city and I'm gonna make a complete guide on how to get around in a bit. But right now we're gonna go to the Belgrade. A snap. So here we are at the Belgrade Theater. So the Belgrade is right across the Telegraph which is over there, that's the Telegraph Hotel, which used to be the Telegraph office. So this used to be the office of the newspapers, but this right across it is the Belgrade. According to the website, the Belgrade Theater was built in 1958 as part of the reconstruction of Coventry after World War II, in which Coventry was badly hit. The Belgrade Theater acquired its name in recognition and thanks for a gift of timber from the Siberian capital city of Belgrade, which was used in the construction of the auditorium. In 1958, the Belgrade was officially opened by the Duchess of Kent and Coventry's first female Lord Mayor, Pearl Hyde. So we are here. It is warm and toasty. I think a lot of people are also watching Mousetrap. I do want to get drinks, but I don't think I have time to get some drinks because there is a proper queue in front. So I don't think we can do that right now. We're gonna get one of these. Cute little souvenir. Yeah, definitely I will come back a different time to show you guys how the food is like. The mistake is I went to the theater like an hour before when I know I should be earlier since I want to eat here. But it's super full. I think it's the lunch rush, that's why. But that's totally fine. I'll just come back some other time to try out the food more properly. I was reading this board and apparently you can take one of those and then um, it's for free. So apparently people have paid for it in advance and you just take one of those, take it to the till and they will serve you your free food. Pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, a little bit chaotic at the cafe but that's understandable because the lunch rush is here and also you have a 2pm show where people are trying to get their drinks. Hello, we are currently at the Belgrade. Here is where I'm seated, way up high. This is almost at the back. I always take the god seats. I usually get these seats because it might inspire people who don't have that much money to still watch shows even if you're not at the front seats. And this is my view basically. We're filling up and this is a huge crowd considering it's a matinee show, it's an afternoon show. This is my view from seat I-33. So this is way up but I think I can see the stage pretty well. The show will start in a bit. I will not see you guys until the interval. I think I'm gonna enjoy the night. I'll see you guys later. So we are currently at the interval, the intermission. I'm really enjoying it. You know I love a good murder mystery. Murder Mystery Mondays. So far here are my thoughts. So I really enjoy the way they build tension and the way they build mystery. You're really engaged. It does have like a relatively slow start but obviously um, that's how it was written. But I do love Agatha Christie as much as the next person who loves true crime. But all I can say is that the way they build tension is really good. Especially when the first murder happens. When the first murder happens, obviously they turn off all the lights. Um, and you're just like, you do get that eerie feeling, I think. They accomplished that. I did hear some people go, ooh, 
obviously I'm not spoiling anything for you guys because if you know the hashtag for mousetrap it's hashtag keep the secret not a lot of people spoil this show for people who are getting into it I'm sure there's other youtubers who would do it for the clicks the likes the views the engagement but I'm not gonna be one of those I want you guys to watch the show to actually experience what it's like involve yourself in the mystery I do have my bets on who it might be who they might be so i do have my thoughts on who the culprit or the culprits could be i've been meaning to watch this show for so long so obviously now that i'm watching it i'm like okay i get the hype that's been around for 70 years so as you can see it's also celebrating technically it's platinum jubilee which i think is pretty interesting in case you didn't know it's the longest running play in the world definitely worth a watch i will see you guys when the show ends hopefully the people who i think are the culprits would be the culprits I'll see you guys later. So we've just finished watching The Mousetrap. I am at the cafe, at the Belgrade Cafe here at the second floor. I'm just taking a look around. I think they're already closed, but I do want to take a look around because I do want to come here for a cup of coffee at some point where it's not as busy. And it looks so beautiful here. What they've done with the interiors. Look at it. I like how modern it is. I guess they did this in line with the whole um, city of culture, I would assume, during 2021 because Coventry was chosen as the city of culture. So here it is. So beautiful. I feel so bad that I wasn't able to take my parents here because I didn't know that the Belgrade had a cafe. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna take a quick browse around. that's pretty much it i will again come back here so if you notice this is where i was downstairs i was here downstairs a while ago um getting my coffee i feel like it's not doing it justice because we barely saw like um this area while i was getting some coffee because it was just so full of people so beautiful i love the overall vibes i feel like it's very me i do want to come by again at some point it's a bit more relaxed but I guess some people do come here for um, studying. Some people are studying right now. This is the Belgrade again. Overall, I enjoyed the mousetrap. I finally know who done it. I finally know the secret. I didn't Google this ahead of time because I wanted to properly experience like what it was like. And obviously, yeah, they do tell you at the end to keep the secret because again, this show has been going on for 70 years and. I think a lot of people have kept the secret. I think the traveling company has done a really good job. But again, I don't have a reference point because I haven't seen the one in the West End. But definitely, I will watch that at some point and we can do like a little comparison video. But I really enjoyed it. They did the tension really well. I think the buildup was also there. The pacing could be a bit faster, but I feel like that's just because I have a low attention span. But overall, I did enjoy it. I did have a theory as to where it was leading. I got two things correct, so that's good. But yeah, the tension was there the pacing i feel like that's the thing with old pieces you can't really rush like pieces that were written in the 50s because obviously that's how they were written the pacing is a bit slower but overall i enjoyed it i'm glad that i'm finally part of the secret <laughs> but if you guys want to see more content like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time bye